When the iPad arrived, it was really considered a consumption device. Well, now there are a lot of apps that are trying to get people to use it more productively. Today, we're going to look at three writing note-taking apps. And the first one is Quip. Now, Quip's got a lot of buzz because they were calling it the text editor for the Facebook generation. Just that phrase kind of hurts me. It's kind of horrible. The, the, the text <laughs> editor for the Facebook generation. Well, and the reason is, is it has a chat-like messenger service on the side. So it's really, really built for collaboration, communication. Right. You can leave notes. You know, you invite your friends to it. At first, when I heard about this, I'm like, oh my god, this is like the social mediafication of what? Document editing or something? But it actually kind of works. I like the fact that I was able to create a document and then share it with you and then we're collaborating on this document. Now, of course, you can do that in Word. You can do that in a million other ways. You can send an email, but yeah, you know what? It's right there. It's to the side. It's not bad. The other thing I really like about it is it's free. Yeah. I really like Quip. I'm going to give it a 7.5. I'm going to give Quip an 8. The second note-taking editing writing app we're looking at is called FatPad. Now, that is FatPad with a PH. Yo. I was like, FatPad, <laughs> yo. But despite the goofy name, this is actually a fairly robust, powerful note-taking app that's got some cool features like voice recording and handwriting recognition. So if you don't want to type, you can't type, you can take notes with your finger and write stuff. But I got to say, if that's FatPad's killer feature, it ain't much of a killer. I mean, really, how can writing notes with even a stylus be faster than typing on a virtual keyboard? I guess if you need the whole page page in front of you, don't have any real estate to call up your keyboard, it's an option. But I found even when I was printing, like my, my, my printing isn't the best, but even when I was printing, the handwriting recognition usually was not getting all my horrible curse words I was trying to test out. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of with you on this. I mean, I think that, you know, FatPad can do a lot of stuff. It is robust. It's robust. There's like a 20 page tutorial when you open this thing up. In Comic Sans though, which is a bad, <laughs> bad decision. And this is also $4.99, a little bit pricey. There are a bunch of other options and I think it sort of needs to knock something out of the park to sort of justify that cost. So True. for me, Fat Pad's only a six and a half. I liked it a little more than that. I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. Our final writing note-taking app is called Editorial. Now, this is a powerhouse app, which has all sorts of stuff. It has markdown support. It has Python code in there. It has a web browser. It has a scratch pad. It has all sorts of stuff, and it really is for the power user. I consider myself a tech-savvy person. I understand technology, but this was all kind of lost on me. Like, uh, it's not a simple or intuitive app to use at all. It's really geared towards the power user who needs those kind of features. I just want to rub my little words. You know what? I actually like this. You know, I like the built-in browser. I like the scratch patty stuff. It does make me want to figure out some of this stuff more, more than I do. With the your horizon. Exactly, because I think this is a very good product. I think it could be a little bit more intuitive to use. Yeah, but I gotta say, it is very cleanly done. It is very powerful. It's, a, it's an amazing tool. I look at this like it's a bandsaw, you know? I know that's a great tool. I'm never going to use one. I will literally never use this app again in my life because it's just not for me. I totally understand where you're coming from, but I do think it's pretty good. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's not for me, so I can only give it a 7.5.